Hi everyone, it's Justine here from House of Mahalo. Thanks so much for joining me. So, I am here to do another Shop Your Trash session. Um, it's been a while since I did the last one. So, um, my odds and ends and scraps and packaging and everything have um, built up a bit again. So, I thought we would uh, try and tackle some of it together. So, uh, I've just pulled out a mix of different things. Um, this is how I like to go about doing these uh, sessions, is just to pull out stuff and just go. <laughs> so um, this is what I've got. I've got, yeah, various different things and we're just going to see what happens. All right. So the first thing that I want to do is actually quickly measure this. So this comes from a vintage uh, anniversary card. And I thought this would be a really pretty uh, corner, like, put it in the corner of a page. So, pretend this is my very large journal page. And um, have it be some kind of, like, up tuck or even just an over the page thing, something like that. So, I'm just going to measure how wide it is because it does look quite big. So, we are about five and a quarter by... Um, over five and a half so I'm not worried about the length just the width so I'm going to just um, take some of this border off both sides What's that? just to take the just to take it down a bit and I thought if I do it on both sides <laughs> try as I might to get it straight um it will look the same if, um you know if I do it the same sort of distance yeah then it kind of looks like it was supposed to be like that so um just gonna keep my trimmer out to the side of me just in case we need it again so very simply I'm going to back this onto some scrap card just to get me going um, and then we will be able to cut it out once it's dry and uh, decorate it and do something with it. <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping I can get this cloud to come out just gently enough to glue it down. But not seeping through because this is quite thin paper so I don't want to um, have the glue sort of seep through and ruin the image or anything so I'm just going to whoops <laughs> try as I might to get this in the corner sorry if I'm off screen just that way I only have to cut cut around this fluty bit I don't have to cut around the side of it again okay so I'm just going to leave that to dry and we'll do something with that later okay right we are on our way to doing stuff. Right, okay. Um, this is also another thing that wants gluing. So I have the cover of one of the fairy books that I had, one of the, the mini ones. And I thought we could try and turn this into a little notebook. Um, so I've got these off cuts of uh, Stamperia paper, which that way is too uh, short, but if I turn them like this, um, this still looks like a wooden fence, so that's what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to tear it where it was already um, folded. And then I just need to decide what to do about the the spine because it's only a small spine so I'm thinking I'm going to I don't want to go over the spine I don't think with this scrap piece okay so I'm just going to uh, so I'm butting it up to where I believe the spine is starting just to get me that and then bring the trimmer back in and then I'm just going to whoops, cut off that bit okay oh, I'm 
going to pop that in my scrap box because I'll probably use that for something. Okay, I'm just going to take off the top there where it's got <coughs> glue from the paper pad. And then it's almost the right height, I just want to bring it in a tad. And yeah, this will add strength to the cover as well because it's only a thin, a thin jacket. Might have gone a little bit short. But that's okay, I can ink around it. So let's get the same on the other side. So I'm just going to use this one as a guide. Okay. Yep, and then. Again, I will keep that little woodland scrap. So these uh, Shop Your Trashes are a great way to use up your scraps as well. I always tell myself when I'm doing them to use up as many, as many scraps as I can. Okay, and then um, I'm going to put some framers tape down the middle. This is nice strong craft tape. I'm thinking that will just give some strength to the spine because although it's only a little notebook I do think it needs a little bit more and then um, it won't add tons of bulk and also the brown is slightly better to see than white. going to ink around these. So I hope you're all doing well. Thank you again for, for joining me. I really, really appreciate you watching these videos. Um, I do enjoy the Shop Your Trashes. I just I sort of was um, doing a bit of organisation in my room last night and that's when I, <laughs> well, I sort of I was organising a few different things. Um, one was my lace and ribbons drawer. I've now got everything uh, colour coded, <laughs> which uh, is going to be really helpful to me. You know, I've got a bag of uh, blue ribbons and trims and green and purple and neutral and pink. So all of those. So I was doing that. Um, and then I also had a look at my sort of where I keep all of my uh, scraps and packaging but also like move it on things so things that want finishing or turning into things you know I've got a, sort of a, a variety of different things really um, I'm just going to move that up slightly because I'm thinking what I can do is just take off the bottom of the, the book jacket and then that way I don't have to worry about um, uh, what I don't, I don't have to worry about just that bit showing because yeah I don't want to ink it heavily heavily okay and then we've got this one which I'll have going this way looks like a fence doesn't it okay so yeah I was sorting out all my scraps and packaging and then I thought oh goodness I have not done one in a while um because I had a lot of secret garden ephemera so I didn't feel like I needed to do one for the secret garden project um and currently that's kind of the colours that I'm working with is the, you know, the pinks and greens and things. Um, but because of that, it just meant that, you know, I'm letting this stuff build up until I do a new project. And, well, what's the point of that? I might as well get them used. And then even if they don't wind up in the Secret Garden uh, journals, they can either go into my Etsy or, um, like as bundles, or um, go into future journals. 
So I just chucked the glue over <laughs> my little pile of bits. So I just thought I'm just going to get on with it. So here I am. Right. Um, so as I say, it's not ideal. <laughs> she says, oh goodness, I'm going to have to. All right. It's only a thin book jacket, so I just want to take off just a smidgen. I ended up having to cut it down uh, with my big trimmer because it, it just wasn't fitting in the little one. But uh, there we are, nicely lined. So I'm actually going to round the corners only because the corners of this book cover are a li little bit uh, are a little bit battered. So I thought this would, um, yeah, just tidy that up a bit because I don't want to cover the, you know, the rest of this book jacket. I want to keep the fairy on there. I want it to be, you know, like a flower, flower fairy notebook, you know. So keep that. Um, but yeah, I thought this way that would just be a bit tidier. Just get that in ink. Okay, and then I'm going to get some papers in. Um, I don't know whether to do anything on the back. Um, like I don't know whether to cover up the, the barcode. Um, part of me is thinking we could potentially put a little fairy on the back. So... Uh, I should have some fairies in here. Obviously, I've not um, I've not done anything with fairies in a while, so um, hopefully, I don't really want to cover up the writing. I've got a sitting down one. Oh, that's nice. Um, yeah, and this is another piece that, you know, I'd put to one side because I thought, well, I'm not working on any fairy journals right now. So it would have just sat in my bits and bobs for, what, another year? <laughs> Until I'm working on fairies again. And I just thought, well, that's just, that's just silly, isn't it? So I thought with the Shop Your Trashes, it's a good excuse just to, um, you know, just to get these things done. So, I do like that, you get a little bit of the barcode showing through behind her, but then I'm thinking I could just put a butterfly on the top, and I know you end up losing some of that text, that's the only thing, unless I, yeah I'd have to lose lose part of her so I wouldn't want to do that so I think I'll just do that um, at least then I'm not covering up all of the text because I didn't want to you know I did want this to look like a little notebook made from the, the jacket so let me get this glued on and then we'll find a butterfly I do enjoy doing these shop your trashes um, I use them as a good excuse just to make a lot of um, random things to go in my stash. And um, it always, you know, it's it's a nice activity for your brain in terms of like what you're gonna, what you're gonna do with things, what you might turn them into, how are you gonna, you know, use them, kind of thing. That is that, right. Butterflies. Um, I'm ideally looking for a little one. Let's see. Little, little, little. It might be that I still haven't. I mean, that's it's a little bit bright, but maybe. Yeah, I still need to do some some fussy cutting of butterflies, but well, that's a nice one. Right, let me just quickly cut this out. 
I actually think this is a moth rather than a butterfly, but that's okay. I like seeing moths as equally as butterflies. Out in the wild though, not around the house. <laughs> And in crafting, they look, the illustrations look just as nice, don't they? So, yeah, that's going to look good. So I'll do that. Um, and then I'll get the papers in uh, off screen because I'm just going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch. Um, as much as I would love to do that right now. Um, I'd rather not. <laughs> Which way? I think it'll go that way and then it looks like it's um, coming in to land on the flower like the bee is. Right, best, um, best to glue it the whole way down otherwise, um, you know, I don't want it to come up. And I'm happy with that price because actually it's very vintage. Since when is a book £1.95? <laughs> Certainly not these days. I suppose maybe maybe children's books are, I don't know. But um Okay. So yeah, as I say, I'll get the papers in off screen. I'll just go there and then I don't think I'll add a closure. I don't think it'll need one, but I'll um I'll see how we go when we put some papers in. So I'm gonna put that to one side for now. I'll sort that out later. Uh finding somewhere. There we go. Okay, right, what's next? So this is some kind of packaging. So I'm thinking, um, sorry, I'm just rifling around because I thought that could be a pretty bookmark. So I'm going to want to get an eyelet into it. Um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go with a metal eyelet. I'm going to go with brass and then it will go with, with everything. Okay. Right. Crocodile, your mission is to behave. Right. Oops. Not bad. Okay, that's that. Do, does anything else want a hole in it? No, not right now. Okay, we're going to want to put some fibres in it and just give that a bit of a glue to go in. That's that. Whoop. Just wondering whether I should be putting um, butterfly on it. I was thinking this will be a bookmark um, because, yes, the pattern on the back as well, I wouldn't want to cover that up. So we'll have that as a bookmark. So I'll put some fluff in the top. Um, and just wondering about it doesn't really need a butterfly, but um I feel a bit lazy not adding anything to it, you know. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, it's too big. I'll keep that one out because I'm probably gonna use butterflies again today. Um, got a little purple one. It's a bit too, a bit too bright. There we are. That's the butterfly I went with. I think that just fits into that quite nicely. Um, this is what I meant by organising my uh, ribbons and things the other day. Um, I've got them all colour coded. So this is my little bag of like tag topper type things. Um, like they're little like strips that I think would be good for toppers, you know. So I'm just going to pull out, I've got some pink lace at the bottom. That's nice. Well, that's pretty. Should we use both? <laughs> Will that be really extra? No, I think we'll just use one. We'll go with this pretty, pretty lace. So yeah, I'm thinking this will be a bookmark. I mean, I suppose you could add a journal spot to the back. 
just didn't really want to cover up the, the picture because the picture is quite nice. Okay, that will do. And then we want some scissors. That's it. So that will go in my little jar of scraps and I suppose that will as well because that doesn't make a tag topper now. Okay, so yeah, that was a nice quick easy one. Doesn't really need much, does it? So, um, where do I put the other one? There. Okay, so I'm just kind of working with my pile and just going to see what happens. So I've got this, um, I bought a watch the other day and this came, came with it. And I thought this could maybe be a little tiny little pocket and I just want to cover up where it's got uh, Laura Ashley. Um, so I am thinking, that's pretty, I'm thinking if I get a butterfly and a word this one is going to be a nice easy one as well. Um, the trouble is finding a word, <laughs> choosing a word, because I've got so many in here. Um, but yeah, I want something that's big enough to cover up the writing. Um, there you go, super easy, really doesn't need much, just the word garden and a butterfly. Uh, so as I say, that could be a pocket. It could also be a book plate. You know, if I were to put two brads in there, it could be a book plate, um, or it could be uh, an embellishment to go onto a pocket. So, either way, it is a thing that can be used. So, move that one along. Right. Next, I've got these two bags. Um, I think these are what the your, your creative studio stuff comes in. Um, I don't have a subscription for that. These were just in a happy mail from my lovely friend Mandy. I'm just going to take off these um, stickers if I can. There we go, okay. So I'm thinking these could be cute little pockets. Um, I want collaging. I'm just trying to decide what to do with the the, um, I was going to call it a lid, uh, the flap, the flap of the envelope. Um, I was just thinking whether there would be a way to strengthen it. Um, oh, where are those? Aha! Um, the scraps from earlier, I don't know if you'd want to use those or, excuse me, sorry, just uh, pulling in some, some scraps, I've got like a, a tray just in front of me. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about putting, oh, that'll be a good one. If I were to cover the the flap with some scrapbook paper, so let's let's give this a go, shall we? Just to give it a bit of strength. Might even cover it front and back. Sort of see how I see how it feels. Oh, and I need to remember, we backed that piece at the beginning, didn't we? <laughs> need to go back to that in a minute, because otherwise um, I'll forget about it. Sorry if I'm pulling things to me. I'm just sitting a bit funny at the moment. Okay. Right, let's do the same. <laughs> oh, that is just the cutest little pocket already, and I haven't even done anything to it. Um, 
I do love cute little things, I have to say. They are very fun. Okay, let's go this way. So I'm thinking whether to put like um, an eyelet through it or something now that we're making it sturdier. Just to give it another little cute look. So um, I'm going to go ahead and line the inside as well. Hoping I have another scrap of that same paper, but we'll have to see. Just, <laughs> just long enough. Oh, sorry, knocking things flying. That's the only problem with these shop your trash videos is they do seem a little bit chaotic because, um. Sorry, I'm just concentrating. <laughs> because there's, um, you know, you, you end up getting a lot of different things out. Um, so if it does seem a bit chaotic, then I am sorry. But I do so enjoy them all the same. I'm just going to straighten this up with the trimmer because my inability to cut straight lines is excruciating sometimes. <laughs> That's that. Okay. So that's not going to fit, is it? No, that's a shame. Right, let's um, dive into the box. Do I have another scrap of that? I do have a bigger one, but ideally I would use a smaller one. Sorry, just peeking. use this and then it'll be fine. Just gonna move these out of the way. So we'll get to those after if there's time. Right, let's work this in. Closing up the pocket with too much glue. Okay, let's just cut around this. Excuse me, little scrap, let me in. <laughs> Gonna do the same thing because otherwise it really will bug me. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we've got that. So if I can, I'm gonna try and round the corners. To give that a bit of a nicer look, looking good. Okay, right, that's good. Done that. Right, let's um. Ah, oh, that that wasn't long enough. That's why I didn't use that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh goodness me. Let's um, have a little think. Yeah, I'm thinking an eyelet would be a cute little look for it. Um, I'm just trying to think 
how I would use this on a page. Like that's quite high, like would I have them open? I like the cute little flap though. So, mm, because of that, I think I'm going to want to, oh, I would have said I would have wanted to open the bag more, but um, I think it's going to end up tearing if I try to do that. So, instead, I'm going to, uh, ever so carefully, sneak in with this if I can. Okay, so I couldn't get the circle punch in, it was just a bit too much of a tight squeeze. So I just cut down each um, envelope, if I just see if I can ink it just to show you. I just cut down ever so slightly so it's got a, um, a lower opening now. Um, I put the eyelets in and then this is what I think I'm aiming for is just have this little leaf charm coming off. Um, so I've just got some sparkly twine. So I'm gonna thread that in here and loop around. And then I want to try and get both ends of the twine through the charm. I'm going to go one at a time because it's a bit of a tight squeeze. I just thought it would give it a little bit of something on it. Um, like I liked the idea of the eyelet and uh, you know I thought about should I be doing like a policy closure or something but um, I think the envelope was just a bit too small for that to be for that to be worth it. Why right, let me just see if I can get this other bit through. Hang on. Right, right. And then I just want to gosh I really am all fingers and thumbs. I'm just gonna take my rings off because I don't usually craft with them on so I think it's throwing off my balance today. <laughs> really weird thing to say, I know. But uh What have I done? I'm all in a, all in a, all in a knot. Right, there we go. Okay, right. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to pull that up to the top. That's it. And then just knot that on. It does add a little bit of bulk to the closure, but... It will also, it will keep the flap down, because that's quite, um, these leaf charms are, are light, so they're not excessively heavy for this tiny little pocket. But there is now enough weight on there just to keep the flap down. So when something's in the pocket, you're not going to lose what's in there. When you turn the journal page, obviously. Want to cut there and there. Just want that bow to be teensy bit smaller. I've lost all motor function in my fingers today. But, um, I can't seem to strengthen what I'm doing. Okay, right. Let me just get rid of these little bits. Okay, so that's those. So I did think I was going to do collaging on the actual envelopes when I first looked at these. But um, I quite like the brown, especially now we've decorated the tops of the envelope. So I do want to put something on there. Bet you can guess what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking labels and I'm thinking butterflies. Okay, and I'm thinking numbers are a good shout because then they can be like little specimen pockets. Q, 
cute very cute I've got this teeny tiny little butterfly if I can work that in somehow oh it feels it feels wrong now <laughs> I liked it with just the I liked it with just the number but I just feel like it is missing something hmm well I never right go with that right I don't think I've got another tiny tiny butterfly but this one has a bit of an issue up here where where I was uh, taking off the, the, the sticky um, 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 so I'm gonna want to cover that with the butterfly I think um, or something I don't think I want the label up there. I think the, the label is in the right place. I've got this little little green one. Some it's probably a bit much, isn't it? With that leaf. alternative is just to accept that um, sorry I'm squeaking away like anything on my chair I was just thinking see like at the end of the day, I don't mind that that has happened because if I grungy them up more, it would be like they're just vintage things that have come from a scientist lab, I don't know. Um, so they're not going to be pristine, are they? So let's um, get a few of these splodges on. I love this stencil. I'm so glad that I I treated myself. Really am. Um, I think it adds so much to a um, botanical project. Right. What do we think to that? Oh, that's added something, isn't it? Right. Whilst the the ink lid is off. And then I really must go back to that first piece because um, <laughs> I have a feeling I've been longer than what I think I have. Considering, you know, we've only made a few pieces really. And <laughs> some of them were super easy. But no matter. So we had that about there, didn't we? Cute. Oh, don't lose it. Yeah, it's been a while since I've done a, a Shop Your Trash. Um, I do have a playlist. If you haven't, um, you know, if you're new to my channel, you might not know that I do these videos occasionally. Now I'm thinking with this one, I might just just have the label I 
I don't know. It really does feel like it misses, it's missing something with that um, little something. Um, I'm just going to see whether this instead of a butterfly. Yeah, I think so. Just to change it up a bit. And I still feel like that's missing something, that one. I might have another butterfly on that one. I have no idea what will go in these, these little pockets. <laughs> or if, um, it might be one of those things where they might just be actually an embellishment. Like, they don't have to be pockets just because that's what they started as. Like, you know, they might not be strong enough to be pockets. I don't know. So instead, they could end up being some just fun little embellishment on a page, you know. Because they look really cool. Whether they're practical or not is <laughs> yet to be seen. Oops. Okay. And then, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to want another butterfly and I'm looking things flying again. Um, I don't know if I've got another little one. Okay. That's that one. Just added the extra little butterfly. Okay, and then going back to this first piece, so I've just cut around it and inked around the edges. Um, so as I mentioned, this is going to be uh, potentially like some kind of up-tuck. Um, doesn't need much other than, as I say, I've backed it. And I just want to cover up this silver wedding anniversary text, um, only because I'm not going to be doing a wedding journal um, for any time soon. That looks pretty, doesn't it? So I thought a label and a butterfly would do it. So yeah, I definitely think it will be this label. Because I don't want to miss, you know, I don't want to cover up any, any borders, my silver and everything. Well, that's pretty with the pink and the white. No, definitely because of the white flowers, I think it's best having the, the pink one up there. Oh, gosh, decisions. It's just a butterfly, Justine. <laughs> I think I like the contrast um, to have the different, the different colours. So I'm going to go with that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my last piece for today. Um, I did pull out more stuff from my pile, <laughs> um, but that was me being ambitious, I think, because I bet you this video is longer than what I think. And I'm so sorry if it is on the long side. Um, I just got a bit carried away, I think. <laughs> I had all these ideas and... Whilst they were in my head, I just wanted to to get going with things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit pause again. And I'm going to get some papers in that little fairy notebook that we did, that we started. And then I'll come back and I'll show you all of the pieces that we've uh, finished in this little Shop Your Trash session. So I shall be right back. All right, I've got the notebook finished off. So I've just popped that pink crochet down the spine just to finish off that edge. How sweet is that? We stuck the fairy and butterfly on the back together and we lined it. And then I've just done a very simple three hole pamphlet stitch just with some leftover, really nice textured paper, that one. Um, I mean, it could take some, some pockets or like a little tuck spot or something or an additional fairy inside, so um, I'll have a think about that at another time, but for now, that's that. Um, I didn't need to add a closure because it's actually laying nice and flat, so that's that one. We did the bookmark together, very simple, we just did a topper and a butterfly. <laughs> and we had these two cute little 
pockets. I think this one's my favourite. I think the two labels together works really well. So they'll either be pockets or they'll be um, just embellishments on a page. I haven't quite decided. Depends how uh, sort of useful they are, I guess. Very simple little embellishment. So this could be a cluster, a pocket, a pocket embellishment, a book plate by adding some brads. So either way, that will get used. And we have this piece, which is an uptuck um, from a vintage greeting card. And then we just decorated that and, and backed it. So is that all the pieces that we made? I was convinced we made more than that. No? Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'm slower than I thought. My goodness, I really thought we'd made um, a couple more pieces, but yeah, that was what we'd done today. But no, that, um, yeah, I'm happy with them. I really like what we've um, what we've come up with today. Um, so I do have, this was the other things that I pulled out to do today. Um, but uh, yeah, not enough time. So they're gonna have to go back in the box for next time, which is, <laughs> chocker but not too shabby anyway so I will leave it there I hope you've enjoyed seeing those come together thanks ever so much for joining me and keeping me company through that as always and um, I shall catch you on the next video bye for now